Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and we are back with another Let's Play Franchise Mode episode. And in the previous episode, we built this super cool lemur island for the ringtail lemur and the red rough lemur, and I still really, really like how this one has turned out. Obviously, big shout out again to Nathan Eck for building this amazing. Uh, yeah, well, climbing frame playground thing, which we use. It's really incredible. Really, really love it. I do notice that our FPS is dropping, so I really hope we can still uh, continue with this zoo as long as possible. But that is going to be a challenge, I feel. Um, we do have an issue. We have an uh, African wild dog that died of old age, and that is just so sad. You did die from old age, right? Or you're going to die from old age. Wait, what? Animal died. Gahiji, you're hopefully still alive, but because you're still moving. Oh my god. But Gahiji is going to leave us. And uh, yeah, okay, so Gahiji is uh, getting too old. And uh, it's just really sad. Okay, so we got this one from Frontier Zoo. How many animals do we have? Oh, man, this feels really sad. Like seeing this laying down here, like the last energy. What a great start for this episode. Not really. Um, so we have puppies in here too still? Or don't we have any puppies? We have a lot of African wild dogs in here though. We have one, two... It's really weird actually that this one is already like dead. But still alive. Uh, but it's not Gahiji. Did I? Am I blind? But I don't see Gahiji in the list. I don't see Gahiji in the list. There are four animals in here. Okay, that is just really freaky. Right. Okay, Gahiji. Um, I'm very sorry. Rest in peace. I hope you will. Um, you will find a good spot in heaven, which is really sad. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it may, I don't know, it's giving me the chills that it's still alive, but it's not alive according to the game. Um, anyways, we have, we need to make sure that we can maybe, did we already add a new African wild dog in here? I think we did. I think actually we did. There should be one male and one female that can, yeah, okay, so these two can mate with each other. I think we already fixed that during one of the previous episodes, so... Uh, okay, but we're gonna ignore that. I feel so sad about that. Um, okay, what else do we have here? Okay, now I'm gonna delete you. <laughs> I just wanna delete it. I don't wanna see it anymore. Okay, we have enough diseases. We have the Indian Rhino. More research, which is great. We did all the research for all the animals, so I think we just need to make sure that we have new animals in this episode. Uh, so yeah, in the previous episode, you guys voted for these lemurs, which are super cool. I really, really love this climbing frame. You can download the- look at these guys. You can download this one from the collection list in the description down below. And if you want to provide any blueprints, definitely join my Discord server. That link is also in the description down below. And you can also find a collection list with pictures for what kind of style we are going for for this whole desert zoo. But this is really amazing. Also, people commented uh, that the Red Rev Lemur is more endangered and that is why they were more expensive in the, um, on the market. So thank you guys for responding to that. Really appreciate it. Thank you so, so much for that. Uh, but yeah, in this episode, we're obviously going to build... A habitat for a new animal but first I want to check because I heard that the hyena had offspring so I wonder let's close the red ref lemur here we have a very cute little is that you okay you are definitely new you're super young hi cutie welcome to your desert zoo so how many hyenas do we have in here now? Uh, did they only get one? <laughs> oh, wait, this, oh, of course, this is, one of these was the baby of the previous couple we had, and they now got a baby. Oh, that's amazing. That is going so well. 
I do wonder, do they only get like one baby all the time? Or is there also a chance that they could get like more babies? I'm just very curious. Hyena. Spot hyena. How many babies do you normally get? One to two. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense then that we only got one again. At least that is what I'm thinking. I don't really see another one walking in this habitat. Man, this is looking so cool, it's, doesn't it? <laughs> love it, I love it. Uh, okay, so that is all going well. We have a new baby hyena. We still have an ugly wall right over here, but I will just keep it for now because I don't see any stress-related uh, alarms right over here, so I guess that's fine. We have fighting ostriches, and that is not really that weird because we actually have a lot of ostriches in here if I'm correct um, I think there are a few in here as well yeah look there are two males in here but I also feel like we just yeah we need to say goodbye to a few of the females I'm afraid hi cutie you're so pretty aren't you it's so relaxing here with the crickets. <laughs> Gosh, this game is so beautiful, isn't it? Oh, oh, I apologize. I apologize. Hello. Okay, so those two are also fighting. Yep, yep, they don't like each other. They do not like, they do not like. Yes, we have too many. We have too many ostriches in here. Let's have a look. How many do we have? We have 11, of which one is pregnant. We have two male adults. Yes, it is time to say goodbye to a few. So let's go to our overview. <laughs> Not here. Let's go to our overview. Oh, thank you. We have some research complete. Thank you so much. Let's go to the animals. Let's go to the common ostrich. Here you go. Okay. So, what do, 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 you are pretty old, actually. Unica? Uh, Unica, can we get like your overview? Yes, thank you. Oh, oh, there it's he's almost halfway. Okay, so what can we do? Well then I'm just going to make sure that we remove release a few of those in a while. We're gonna give these two contraceptives because these two are all male, so we don't get any inbreeding. I think that's what we should do. I think we should just release all these in a while. We can wait until they had like another bunch of offspring and then make sure that we keep maybe a few females of that and replace the male of it in a later stage. But for now, I just feel like one, two, three, four, five, we're going to release all of these. Uh, no, I promised you guys in the previous episode that I should not do that. So I'm going to put them on the market. Not that I know if anyone wants my common ostriches, but we're going to do that. Let's just go and do that. I should do that more often, so I'm going to I'll put these all in the training center. What do they actually? <laughs> I have no idea if we even can get like uh, something out of it like maybe they're like worth nothing that could be because they get like a lot of ostrich what 1500 for a golden what <laughs> you're kidding me okay what is the cheapest one yeah c2020 uh yeah okay it's not much but it is more than releasing them into the wild so i guess i'm just gonna um, sell them there's only one female in here I'm just gonna sell them for 50 or something. Oh my god, there's so many males. That's insane. We can actually ask more for it because the females are pretty decent. Okay, I'm going to sell the males for the male for 50, and I'm gonna sell the females for 200. Huh. Well, that would be great if I could sell them for it. That would be really great, actually. So yeah, okay, let me just. Do that real quick. This is the male, so that one is going to be 50 and the other females are going to be 200. Let's see if that is going to work out. Okay, so all these ostriches are all on the market now. Oh, wait, I did forgot this one. So we're going to also put you on for 200 right over here. There you go. And all of these are in the market. Oh, gosh. Okay, 
So we have a lot of kangaroos and stuff here, so I need to double check these guys and put these also on the market. We also have a giraffe and we have a black wildebeest. Okay, so let me just quickly do and fix that and put them on the market again. But if I don't sell them again, I will just go to release them into the wild because it is costing extra time to constantly check these, especially if it's only one hour. So let's see uh, what the kangaroo can do for me. All right, so meals are really cheap. I think I'm gonna put the meals at for like 50 and females probably these are two albinos uh let's say around 150 so 50 and 150 um i'm actually not able to put any of these on the market they're all from the frontier zoo so the only one that is on the market is this male one and now i only need to check the reticulated giraffe so male female okay let's put that one up for 250 Honestly, if I sell, uh, if I release this one into the wild, I will get more from it. So I'm going to release this one in the wild. There we go. You're welcome. And then we only have the black wildebeest. Oh, wow. Only three on the market. That is a good one. Okay, so male, female, 800. So that will be you. Can I? Oh, no, I can't even. Shoot. <laughs> okay, so I uh, sold that one. Okay, well, at least we have the common ostrich then and one red kangaroo, and that's basically it. We also had some fighting Nyalas because I think a baby grew up. So we need to make sure that we also put those guys up for adoption or just release them in the wild. And I think I'm going to do the last thing. And because we already gave these two contraceptives, I think those are the two we need to uh really so let's just do that because it's uh, i don't think they are worth that much money also not on the market um okay so hyena got offspring fighting ostrich we fixed we have fighting Ni uh, niyala we got that fixed we have some vet research going on probably more diseases oh and the ring tailed lemur which is actually really great we have three uh, uh vets being free to do research we almost got all the diseases that is going really quick i'm just going to put them all in we only need one more on that side and then we are done with all the diseases so what i am going to do today we're going to build a habitat in the south america region super hype it was a really close call with the giant anteater and the west african lion but you guys voted for the giant anteater and as you as you may have seen i did not get the giant anteater just yet in my training center so i need to get one from the market and they're pretty expensive here so i'm just going to buy them from frontier zoo with 67 fertility and then oh, okay perfect i think this is already the great match so we got a male and a female. I think we can only have a male and a female in a habitat. So I'm just going to check one, two. Yes, we are correct. So yeah, let's uh, make sure that it is daytime again. What time is it? It's 930. So at 10, it's all nice and sunny again in this habitat or in the whole zoo. Uh, because like the sun is behind those beautiful cloud uh, clouds, beautiful mountains right over here. Look at that. That's really pretty though. That is looking really gorgeous. Anyway, so I'm just gonna wait until it's daytime and at least we have some sun going on over our zoo. And then we're going to build a giant anteater habitat. So see you guys in a bit.
Ladies and gentlemen, we have ant eaters. Oh my god, what a struggle was this? Because I created this and it was too small. You may have seen it in the speed build. So I had to really try and squeeze in some more terrain for these awesome, awesome animals. Like they're really, really awesome. And so beautiful. So thank you guys for voting for the giant anteater. I really hope you guys are happy to see the giant anteater in our zoo right now. And of course, we have another blueprint. And this one is again made by Nathan Egg. And don't think like, oh, she's only picking Nathan Egg. Uh, no, Nathan Egg just built a lot of blueprints. And I, I just hope that not... Other people are getting discouraged by this. I obviously, if you guys build me some of these awesome things, I will definitely use them. Like I did had a few blueprints with like climbing frames and stuff, but they don't really match this uh, this awesome giant ant eater habitat. And I also got some really cool drink shops and, and food shops and those kind of things. Uh, but I will save those for the next episode, of course. But definitely don't get discouraged and definitely... Join my Discord if you want to provide me with any awesome blueprints. But yeah, this one is made again by the awesome Nathan Egg. He built this super cute cave for them to chill and relax. And I think it's just really, really gorgeous. And I really got inspired by this blueprint to create something a little bit different. Now, it's not really looking um, as I wanted it to be, to be completely honest, because it's... Uh, yeah, the mountains and stuff that I built beforehand are basically all gone again. They are still in here, but I can't really do too much. I actually was disappointed that they don't really like that much rock terrain painting. So this was all looking as um, as real mountains with rock terrain painting, but it just uh, so I'm still not really happy with it. Um, but yeah, I don't think it bothers me too much at this point. I think it just looks super cool for the giant ant eater in general. What is this though? Like, honestly, I had so many issues just putting down a donation box. Like, this whole path is just straight. There's nothing wrong with it. And I can put it down over here, but as soon as I get close to these edges or on that side, I think, ugh, I was like, wow, okay, so this one is like more moves to the front, I don't know, it's pretty, pretty frustrating. Uh, we have another staff building as always, the same one that I really love to use, and uh, just a shallow water section right over here for them to have a little drink, we have a water pump also, so this is all clean instead of the ugly water pipe as always, and uh, yeah, I, I, I gave them a little bit more terrain to walk over here too. And uh, also on this corner a little bit more. I really had to squeeze in more terrain for them as much as possible. It's now still not entirely perfect. We are missing three square meters, but that is just because I put down some trees. That's why I really held back with putting down the trees and, and really paid attention to where I put them. So we only have three trees. And the rest is all sunken stuff. Are you playing with that? It's all sunken stuff into the ground. So that is not really hurting their traversable area. So it's it's quite enough. And I don't think we will get any protesters in here. But I have no idea how this will be if we get a little cute baby and eater in here. But we have to wait and see. We have a, a, a slow feeder right over here to make sure that the guest can really enjoy the view of the anteater um so yeah there is going to be i think maybe a restaurant or something like that i was actually thinking to maybe finally squeeze in some restaurants that we already had um we have some really cool restaurants with this one we already put down um the starbucks one uh, that is this one that could maybe fit in here. That oh, one is just so cool. So we're probably going to look into that in the next episode. And we're going to try and squeeze that one somewhere in here. I think that is going to be amazing. This path is just temporarily. And then on the other side, we can maybe have a capuchin monkey and a bared tapir's habitat or something. And uh, yeah, it's it's a little bit hard to squeeze this all in this area. I don't really know yet how I want to have this like floating that it doesn't really feel like two really different 
separate areas um but i think it's gonna be all right we just have to make sure that we do a lot of terrain forming and stuff over here but i think this is going to be the edge of the zoo anyway so as long as we make this all pretty and nice i think we can get away with this a little bit odd looking habitat the more i look at it uh, but yeah, if we just make like this this area right over here with some South America animals, I think this is going to be great. They have... was this one already connected? Oh, that one is not connected yet, so we need to make sure of that. Let me just quickly fix that. Okay, so now at least now our guests can walk over it. It's not perfect, but I just really love these bridges and it's just nice to have another connection. Are you guys actually going to use it right away? Oh no, you're just fooling me. Are you guys out? No, you're also just fooling me. Seriously? Oh, and these things from, from Kane, I really wanted to add here. I don't know. I think they're going to look nice, even though... Well, they do give a little bit of shade right now. When I put them down, the sun was from the other side and it was all just like sh giving shade to the mountain system. And I was like, okay, that's not really going to work. Uh, but I think this is going to work out pretty nicely, actually. So uh, as soon as we are going to do a lot of like detailing and stuff, I think that's going to look really nice. So I, I need to make sure that these are all a little bit more in the middle of the path. But other than that, I think that's going to work out pretty nicely. I just didn't really know where to put them and I really like them so I really just want to use them at some point right over here. And uh, I, th I think this is going to work. If we are going to detail everything it's going to be nice and pretty. So we also now have like a lot of, I got a lot of different types of drink shops and food shops and stuff like really small ones to squeeze in. So we're going to look at that in the next episode so we're really going to pay attention to the heat map and see where people need food and drinks and those kind of things so i think oh i think that's going to be really really nice do we already have a derpy bungo face oh yes we have hi cutie ah, ah. <laughs> hello lovely Oh my god, this is such a great ending, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy you agree with me, Derpy Bungo Face. Gosh, why you're so cute. You never bore me. You are always as equally cute and derpy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry guys. I'm sorry, I got distracted. Do we have anything here? Read five new habitat animal species for 5,000. Give me that money. That is brilliant. What else do we have here? Vat research complete. Oh, okay, perfect. Look at all these people. They're working so hard for us right now. Where's my derpy bungle face? Where's my derpy bungle face? All right, all right. Let me know, guys, in the comment section down below what you guys think of the giant ant eater addition to our zoo. No, wait, no, I can't. As much as I ah, love you, <laughs> I'm going back. I'm going back. I'm going back. All right. Do let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of this new addition to our franchise, Sue the Giant Ant Eater. Keep an eye out to the poll for the next community wall poll for the next animal in the zoo. Leave a like in the video if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And if you want to support the channel a little extra, you may want to consider to become a fake fan member with the link down in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and I really hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye guys!